here today with Professor Giovanni Dossi from the Santana School of Advanced Studies in Pisa, Italy. He's just written a new paper on the relationship between Keynesian economics and Schumpeterian innovation that he delivered at a conference here in New York yesterday. Thanks for joining us. Well, it was a great pleasure. It is a great pleasure to be here, uh, and it is, it is very exciting to be part of this uh, INET enterprise. Um, but the, the paper, I think, fits quite well into uh, the general uh, INET philosophy and objective, in the sense that uh, it tries to account for an economy that uh, is fueled uh, by endogenous innovation. This is the, say, the Schumpeterian engine of innovation. Uh, at, the, at the same time, it is shown that uh, the eco each economy, including innovating economy, have always uh, uh, a coordination problem uh, among multiple agents. This coordination problem makes uh, uh, demands uh, often Keynesian policies of demand management. The innovation, put in another way, the engine, the innovative engine is not sufficient to keep uh, the, the system on a high growth path uh, near full employment. But you need complementary demand management uh, uh, measures. One of the grants that were uh, just authorized in the first round are a couple of women, one from University of Michigan and one from Yale, who are studying Cleveland in the period of the Great Depression. Because there, in Cleveland, there was a great deal of innovation on the supply side but there was deficient demand. So many of the companies went bankrupt, and we didn't really see the transformation towards the manufacturing sector and away from agriculture in those days in the United States until after World War II. So it sounds quite similar this is exactly to the kind of logic I'd like that you're to exploring in this in Absolutely, this world. absolutely. And they think, I mean, uh, this theme is, uh, goes well beyond uh, my paper or this empirical study. I think uh, uh, I consider the sound micro foundation of macro, uh, possibly the most important challenge for INET and for, for new economic thinking. I mean, uh, in my view, uh, I'm, I'm pretty radical on that. I think uh, that in macroeconomic, everything that could, could go wrong went wrong in the <laughs> last 30 years. Um, <clears throat> you have, a, a paradoxically, uh, you represent the economy like uh, uh, being uh, governed by in intertemporal maximizing central planner. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, and then you show with a lot of har a lot of um, waving, a lot of hand waving that uh, there might be de a decentralized equilibrium supporting it. Totally perverse. Mm -hmm. uh, the challenge is, on the contrary, to have an explicit account of decentralized economies with many agents that interact not necessarily in equilibrium, um, not necessarily very rational. And their, their interactions can be an amplifying feedback loop that takes you further from equilibrium. Exactly. As, or or it, can be, it can be either way. Can, or there can be an emergent property uh, mm -hmm. out of uh, this decentralized interaction in which people make, make mistakes, adjust uh, imperfectly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So at some level, the presumed intertemporal centralized uh, system in most models of modern macroeconomics is essentially solving the problem that is what we should be studying. Exactly, exactly. And uh, I mean, uh, of course, if you have got one representative agent, uh, you cannot have uh, uh, the possibility of crisis unless you introduce schizophrenia. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That the representative agent goes to himself and says, I want credit. And he, he told the and said, No, you cannot have it. Said, I yeah. want to work. From one pocket to the other to the on other. the same pair of pants. Yeah. Right? <laughs> well, it, it seems that by maintained hypothesis, they've solved the problem. When I say the Absolutely. central coordination, they just assume it's solved as opposed to study how, how the interactions take and place. And if and when, under what condition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this is the general challenge. I mean, um, so the, if you are giving direction to INET and young scholars, it's this interaction process, this coordination problems in systems yeah. that really is at the essence of... Uh, exactly. In systems that are also characterized 
by uh, endogenous innovation. So you have got the endogenous innovation part uh, that is uh, a fundamental engine of capitalism of capitalist evolution. At the same time, you've got the coordination problem. Mm -hmm.